Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm in Baja, Mexico, San Quintin. I'm pretty much 800 miles away from my house since the last video I posted. Um, I've been traveling for the past maybe 15 to 18 days and I'm still making my way down Baja, Mexico and it's been a great trip. Awesome people, awesome food. The nature out there is gorgeous. Um, the heat though is killer out here. Um, today's video, the reason I'm making the video is I wanted to give you an update on my bike, how I was holding up in this trip over the past 800 miles, what kind of problems I ran into and uh, how is it currently at the stage and going forward, what do I expect? So let's get to it. All right, here's the bike without the bags, only one bag on the side. Uh, I have the bags in the hotel room. But so far since leaving my house, a couple of things issues I've had overall with the bike uh, number one is I've had a total of uh, three flat tires there in the back uh, one of the tires actually the rear tire ended up slashing open so I had to get a different tire than the original one that it came with um, I was doing about 35 going down on the street and just popped and so uh, I purchased this Maxxis. Actually, it worked out better because this is handling Baja and the sand a lot better than the front tire is. The front tire is a little bit uh, slippery there. So, actually, it worked out to my favor that that happened. So, that's item number one. Item number two is my rim cracked. Um, so my rim became off center, so it wasn't trued. So it was wobbling when it when it turned. And when I took it to the mechanic shop, he noticed that the rim was cracking from doing adjustments from the corners right here. So because the rim was starting to crack and fracture, he couldn't really true it back to 100%. And if he did, it was only a matter of time before it broke out in the road. So what we ended up doing is he had a spare rim right there that I bought off of him. Um, and I'm not sure on the quality of the rim, but I figure it's better to have a rim that's actually 100% than the rim that's slowly fracturing and breaking. So he ended up switching the rim um, and put everything back together for 50 bucks. He charged me, I think it was around like $7 for labor, which was pretty cheap. Um, other than that, the front tire has been good though. No issues with the front tires. Um, I've added this rack here in San Diego so I can carry my tent so I can get it off my handlebars. Uh, no problems with the baby elephant. The baby elephant has been holding on strong there. Another issue I've been having here while riding uh, through these dirt roads is my chain. So because since it's very, very dusty here, uh, I bought this chain cleaner that was a two-in-one that cleans and grease at the same time but it was not working well like it would only last like a few hours and then all the dirt would just clump up on the chain and then it will start creaking and not shifting correctly so on a small town on one of my stops someone helped me get new chain oil and it's more like a wax so the dirt doesn't stick on it no more um, so it's worked wonderfully. You can see the chain even looks clean right now and it's been like two days of riding and the dust is not sticking on that. So thank you for that person who overheard me at a store looking for chain oil and then he offered to help me out and give me his chain oil because he does mountain biking here in Baja. Uh, after that, nothing else has broken. Uh, the rear panniers have been good. Uh, mainly tire issues with the rear tire and chain issues um, and that's pretty much overall it's holding on uh, pretty strong I'd say the frame is in great condition um, and the racking systems are working out wonderfully even the panniers and the bags have been holding up so I think with those fixes that new tire and that new rim we should be okay for now I don't foresee any more complications but I am beating the crap out of this bike like some of the terrain I'm going through there's rocks all over boulders it's just like these hills are massive like huge descents um jumps it's crazy and i think um it's it comes with the ground right like you're covering ground so you are bound to get flat tires i have ton of weight tons of weight on the back so i'm bound to get the rim off alignment 
Um, so, so far it's moving good, it's moving smoothly. It's part of the journey, it's part of the trip. So you can't expect to be 100% all the time without any hiccups, right? Uh, so, so far 800 miles into the trip, I got a total of around uh, 2,700 miles to go to 2,800 miles. Um, I took a rest day here and I'm slowly editing the video where I traveled from my house to San Diego, uh, from Hayward to San Diego. Once I'm done with that, I'll upload it and I'm filming while I'm traveling along Baja so I can show you guys after. Um, overall, San Quintin is actually a pretty cool city. I'm about to go get some tacos here at the hotel next door. They got some uh, pretty bomb tacos, $1.25 each. Really fresh too. All right, guys, cheers. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Peace.